I think it's time for an upgrade. <clears throat> <laughs> you want to carve a pumpkin? You like it? Now let's see what you can do. I can't believe it's been 10 years since I uploaded this to YouTube. And if you didn't know, ADSD Vids was my original YouTube channel, where I uploaded videos like cringy top 10s. Hey guys, Aaron here. This is another top 10 video. Now for my top 10. My top 10 favorite stop motion movies. Number two, Chicken Run. And number one, Coraline. Gaming videos from a blurry zoomed in screen. I'm playing Cranabots 2, my very first Let's Play. Fantastic trap. Let's play. And then around 2016, I started making it Thomas videos, mainly too much videos, and showing our collection of Thomas stuff. Today, I'm going to do my entire Thomas Wooden Railway collection, and some ERTLs, and some minis. Hey guys, Sean here, and today I'm going to be doing all of my Thomas DVDs. There's more in here and my VHSs. They got all the views, so I turned that channel into a Thomas channel, but I kept making stop motions on that channel until I created this channel in May 2022, two years ago. If you wanted to know, I am a minifigure that came in a minifigure display case in 2011. It goes to show how long I've been into Lego. So just like anyone, my stop motion started out really bad, as you could see here. I would use this Nikon Coolpix, and then later this Nikon Coolpix for all my stop motion. And I would render them in Windows Movie Maker. I've been making videos like this since 2013. And I didn't even make a YouTube channel until October 2014. I would just plop down my small tripod and a base play anywhere. In restaurants. In my aunt's house. friend's house. Not caring about light flickering at all. I was content with watching the stop motion on the small LCD screen like a flip book. Then I gradually started using my phone with an app called Stop Motion Studio Pro for Lego sword fighting. and these two Christmas videos. Santa, yeah, you came! What are you doing up this late? I stayed up to see you. And I used a Canon camera that I borrowed from my high school photography class. Uh, the first shots I used it were these from Lego Trick or Treat. I'm supposed to say Trick or Treat. Uh, uh, <gasps> 
Then I made the Christmas robbery, the alien and the boy, and the alien fight scene. Then I used my dad's Canon Rebel T6i for negative emotions for my college English class. It was based on a short story by Lydia Davis. I assume you've all seen the video. Yes. That monk showed us how to expel our negative emotions. We had to make a project about a short story that was in our book. A video I would have shown to a group of classmates if the world didn't end. And I used that camera from then on. Well, besides a C920 webcam for the black hole gang. Now, let's talk about the lenses I use. I used a macro lens from school for the black hole gang. And for some reason, I used a 2.8 aperture instead of a long shutter speed. So there's like a millimeter in focus. I guess I thought it looked cool at the time. Then after school, I only had these lenses. A 24 millimeter, a 50, and an 18 to 200 millimeter telephoto lens. And in negative emotions, I put a small lens that I got from Five Below on the front of this lens. And this was the first time I realized I could stop down the aperture to have more things in focus, like these close-up shots were f22. And then my aunt gave me an actual macro lens, and I used it in the Christmas feast onwards. Look, this even has a light. Ah! To show the evolution of my videos, here's one second from every one of my stop motions, all the ones on YouTube. Shuffle this. Covalent bonds. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Restaurant down the street. Kill me? Get out. I would say my favorite is the Lego film projector. I worked the most on that video. I had the best lighting, the best camera angles, and I filmed with an actual Super 8 camera on Ektachrome film. Oh, and fuss budget, as you can see. <laughs> Aww. If you're still watching my videos after all these years, I just want to say thank you so much and sorry for all the cringe. So that was my 10 year journey of making stop motion videos. And if you're young and you want to make videos as good as this, or if you're striving to be as good as Brotherhood Workshop, Keshin, Forest Fire, Glick Films, Ed Bound, Loft Studios, or VPLO Studios, call it. I'd say it's about five to seven years of making videos in order for them to be that quality. It took me six years to go from this to this. And that may seem like a long time, it may put you off, but time flies when you're doing something you love.